everyone. Welcome to Art with Mrs. Bodden. So today we are going to make some painted paper, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. I've done the watercolor explosions where we wet the paper and then we explode watercolor on it. This time we are going to use markers and a spray bottle. And we're going to see what painted paper looks like after that. So you're going to need a piece of paper. You're going to need something that's a little bit heavier than printer paper. So this is like our school classroom, the stuff that I use in art class that I'm going to send home with people over summer break. I'm going to show you on watercolor paper because it reacts just a little bit differently and I want you to see how that is. So you need paper, markers, a spray bottle, and you're probably going to want to have a protected surface. So I just have a piece of achy white paper that we use in class as our messy mats. So with that, I'm going to swap cameras and we can get started. Okay, so as you can see, I just have some Crayola washable markers. Your marker just needs to be water soluble. So Expo markers like what we use on our whiteboards and Sharpie markers will not work. You need something like Crayola. You could even use the cheaper version, the Rose Art. Any of those, as long as they are washable or water-based. So again, not anything that's permanent and not anything that is alcohol-based. So I just have a piece of watercolor paper here. Here's my fun one that is dots that I'll spray it in a little bit and show it to you. This one I'm actually going to use to write a note or a letter to my niece who's in the military. She's at... She's down in San Diego right now doing, she's going to be a Marine is what she's going to do. So I'm going to write her a nice letter once this one dries and she can have kind of a cool piece of paper. So when you are doing this project, you want to stick with pretty much your rainbow colors. Avoid brown because when you spray water on it, it just looks like liquid poop. Black takes over. And so you don't want to have it. And then gray, it's not bad. It tends to spread a little less than black, but it still isn't very colorful. So you just want your rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. All of those will work out nice. Do you have to use all of them? No, you can use as many as you want. If you are stumped as to what to draw, think of shapes. Don't draw a picture because you're going to spray it with water and it's going to get all distorted. So, start out with things like circles. You don't have to fill them in solid. Leaving them kind of scribbled in is kind of fun. You could do some hearts. Again, you don't have to fill them in. We're going to add water, which is going to make it blend. So, some hearts as I make marker all over myself. You could do some star patterns. Those look really cool. If you want to add some littler dots to make them with different stars as well, that looks cool. If you are liking something a little bit more structured, you can always do some squares or rectangles. Again, don't color them in solid. Part of the fun of this is seeing what happens when we add water. Now, I did bookmarks out of these a few years ago. I gave my students a strip that was just a bookmark, and we did it, and it turned out really cool. Uh, so, triangles would be another one. Something kind of simple. Apparently, my triangles look going a little wild. Uh, let's see. Circle squares, triangles. You do rectangles. You could do lines. Kind of like confetti lines. I think my daughter likes to think of them as sprinkles. You do sprinkles. I have a lot of students who like to just make dots. When you do your dots, just be careful that you are not pounding. Because if you pound, you're going to destroy your marker. Make your dots. Kind of want to fill in your space. Oops, again, I'm marking myself with my marker as I try and put the lid on. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to add some more dots. Now, in class, I had some groups turn these cool pieces of paper. We call them painted paper because this is a different way of painting them. 
but we turned them into turtle shells as part of an artboard that is going to go up. But you could do them and make them into flowers or boxes or cut them up and use them for a collage. You could do lots of fun things with them. Or you could be like me and write a letter on them. They're kind of fun. So I'm going to get a few more colors of dots on here and then we'll spray away. And you can see what happens when we add water. Now my spray bottle is nothing fancy. It's from the $1.50 section, I think, at Walmart. So it is nothing fancy. I just have a smaller one because I don't need a giant spray bottle. Even with all the spraying we do in our class, I was able to take just this, fill it up with water, and spray everybody's all at once and didn't run out of water. So here's my lovely polka dots. Okay, so now comes the fun part. So I have my paper painted. Now we spray it with water. And we watch what happens. Now the more water I spray on it, the more wet, watered out and blurred it becomes. Now, my paper's gonna curl, and that's okay, because this is watercolor paper. Watercolor paper curls, and then as it absorbs the water, it'll flatten back out. So you can see it's starting to pop up, which is good. It tells me that I did what I was supposed to. You're gonna notice that some of your color runs, which you may or may not like. It all kind of depends on where it's running and what it's running to. You can see my ends here. I'm having orange and green and a little bit of orange go together. Not always the prettiest colors, but they'll work. So I'm going to set this to the side for a moment. I'm going to spray this one. So this is just our paper that we use during class. I'm not going to spray it as much because my, it's not as thick as my watercolor paper. But you're going to find that it still does the same. And if I didn't like a spot, spray it a little bit more. So I want those colors to kind of blur a little bit more. And then comes the hard part. You gotta wait. You gotta let them dry. And resist the urge to pick them up. Because what happens when you pick them up? It's all gonna run. And we don't want that. So, here's kind of a fun idea of what to do with your paper and marker to get a different kind of painted paper effect. Markers, paper, water, and then let it dry. See what happens. Okay, I will see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna start cleaning up my classroom again. Talk to you guys soon.